That should be a familiar sound to most of you. Um, welcome to Homesick. I am going to play this game from start to finish. We're going to release it every other day. There's going to be roughly 20 minute episodes and we're going to have a great time. I've contacted the developers. Okay, so a little backstory. I did the, um, the uh, early access of this game. I did three episodes and the developers wanted me to not give away any more of the story, which is understandable. However, I've contacted them now and they are giving me the go ahead to play this game from start to finish. Let me first say, can I? Yeah, there we go. Let me first say that if you don't want, if you think this is a game you might enjoy, don't even watch this series. Just go out and buy the game because they're a small company, you know, they're not exactly rolling in dough right now. This is their first game, I believe. So if you want to show some support, go ahead and buy the game. The link to it is in the description, I think. Um, but if you have no intention of buying the game and want to watch it, then by all means, feel free to stick around. We're going to explore this beautiful game together. So I'm not going to start where I left off because they may have added stuff that I have not seen. And besides, we're pretty... I mean, we, we know all the all the mysteries now, I guess, to get to the point to where we were. Not mysteries, but uh, the way to progress the game. Here's... Oh, no, that's not where the water is. It's another apartment. Right. So, um, we're just going to do this. It shouldn't take us too long to get to where we left off. And some of you may not have seen the original playthrough of the game. So, now's your chance. We're going to start flicking on these lights. Because that's what we do. We flick lights on, not off. This we can't get up, right? Right. This door is locked, as we had discovered before. Now, it has been a while since I played, so if I forget some things, you're going to have to forgive me for it. You're going to have to. It's a must. It's imperative that you forgive me. Sharpen our pencil so we can take notes. That light is on. Here's another piece of paper, which probably contains the gibberish. And more gibberish. Nice car. I don't remember seeing that the first time, actually. Anything in there? No, we're just going to run. This is where I believe the water is. Yes, this is the water right here. So what we need to do first is we need to find a bucket. We can play in the water. The atmosphere in this game is amazing. That's why I'm playing it again. Um, I think it was... It did pretty well on my channel. I don't know for sure, but I'm not really concerned about it uh, because I just want to play this game and uh, find out what happened to me. And if you're new to this game, so basically you wake up in this abandoned building and you have no idea how you got here or what you're doing here. So that's what we're trying to figure out. We're trying to figure out the mystery of how we ended up in this place that has beds but no mattresses. What is up with that? That doesn't seem very good at all. Some of this. Get these cupboards open. I feel like, even though I did this the first time, I feel like I still have to do it for completionists. It's not a completionist thing. It's just it's just a thing that I have to do with this book. It looks so suspicious. Can't really flip the pages. There's another piece of paper here. Um, the light, as you can see, you cannot walk through super brightly lit areas. Like, I can't go any closer to the window because of the light. So that's going to pose a problem later on in the game. Is this light on? Let's turn this light on, too. I just feel like i got to turn all the lights on. Oh, no, we're going this way. All right, there's a key here that we have to grab, and it's right there. And we're breaking it. We broke the key. Can't open that door. It's probably right here. Yes, that's where it was. I remember now. Let's scroll to it. There we go. Now we can open this door. Grab a bucket. See, we're doing this real quick. So if you're worried that, oh, we've already seen this and you're doing it again, we should be right where we left off within one episode. And um, and then we'll, we'll get going and really dig deep into this mystery. I'm really super curious about how we got here, what we're doing here. Let's get the bucket. Pick up some water. 
And like I said before, if you guys think this is a game you want to play as you watch the series, feel free to stop watching. Go and play it for yourself. And support the developers, because, um, yeah, it's not a big... This is not a big studio, guys. These guys need your help. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Flowers are growing, I think. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Fantastic. And now... We might get a verbal cue to sleep, but I believe we're okay to sleep. And now we're going to wake up in the middle of the night and it's going to be horrible. Yes, really, really horrible. Um, so we can move faster at night too for some reason. This, is, this freaks me out. I don't know why, but it does. Now we can climb... Previously, we could not go through this hallway. We can do that now because it's nighttime and things have changed. We gotta get through here. We're in here now. Um, break this door down. That should give us. There we go. And that should give us access to this room now. See, we're already moving really quick, guys. Things are definitely not gonna be this quick <laughs> very soon because I'm gonna start getting stumped. Yeah, that should have opened that door. Yeah. So let's get into this new room. It's very quiet in this place. I'm wondering, there was a lot of theories when I played last time, and some people were saying this is a mental institution, and this guy is in this mental institution, and this is all, like, a dream and stuff, which would be interesting. So can we walk through here? We cannot. Right. See, I'm already starting to forget. Let's flick this on. Uh, 11, 13, 15, 17. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, nope. Can I get out of here? There's a, there's a clue here as to what the code is. We're going to take a look at these things. Now, that's gibberish. Some photos that we need to check out. So let's try to piece together what's going on. This looks like an oil field or oil oil refinery or something. We can't open that one. We open this one. There's nothing in number 23. Let's close it. Let's close it. We can't open the top drawers. They're locked. We can't open the next ones. Can I look at anything in here? No. There's some more pictures. So we saw an oil field. Oil refinery or something. That looks like... Is that water that that thing is in? I think it's water. So it's like something crashed into water and it's just laying there. Let's open this last one, and there's some more pictures. Yeah, it looks like an accident happened. That that boat is crashing into that piece of bridge. And I believe that isn't supposed to happen. <laughs> right, so we looked at those. Let's look at this drawer now. There's just a box in here. is a note that we cannot read zero zero dash dash okay I think that's the clue we needed for the code to the drawers so let's look at this let's do um, zero zero four no eleven right aha there we go here's some more pictures again uh, is that more oil related things? That is definitely not good. That's either a fire or something. And it looks like a lee. So can we can we come up to can we come to the conclusion that I somehow worked in an oil field or something, and there was a terrible terrible accident? Could it be that during this accident, I got knocked on my head? 
and went crazy. <laughs> I'm really going with this crazy thing. Oh, which one is this? 23, 25, so that's 21, 19, is that right? 53, 55, I guess. If it goes by two, uh, let's do 19 and try it. One. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, let me up. More pictures. Again, looks like an oil fire. And... I'm guessing like... Like the dirt... The dark dirt was oil related and the light dirt was not oil related. I wish there was a faster way. No, if I push down, I can't scroll either, so I have to click and wait. There we go. Zero. Zero. Five. Three. Got it. And we'll get some more pictures. Flood. There was a flood at some point. Okay. We've got oil fields. We've got an accident on the river. We've got a flood. A big flood. But a very floody place. Okay, so there's more stuff over here. This door. Uh, $183,250. Not sure what that's referring to. That was in the bottom corner. Okay, let's do this. Oh, there's no way to even tell what this is, right? Or is it open? Oh, it's open. And Oh, right, this one's got a knock. Okay. Wait, I don't know. I think that's just training us for this to get to this door that's exactly what's happening here's 16 there's nothing in 16 and I believe around this corner there's a bubble of liquid right here and we need to place our bucket underneath or something and collect the water and there's nothing this way it's closed this is the hallway we can't get through because of the light. This, we're gonna flick this on. It is on. This is the way to the gym, I believe. Yeah, this is when we get to the gym. That's where we left off. Actually, it was just after the gym when we got to the room with the piano in it that we left off. So we are close already. It's amazing how much faster things go when you know what you're doing. So let's put the code on this bad boy. Zero. Zero. One. And four. That's gonna tip over. Now we can get in here. We can get this poker. Uh-huh. Is there anything to check out here? There's a newspaper, but illegible words we can't open this drawer okay let's go over here and poke this hole okay there we go we did that wrong let's poke it again Sweet, sweet water. Let's get back to the bed. Well, not back to the bed yet. We gotta pour out the water right here. Pour it right there. Have these little guys grow, and we're gonna go sleep on that couch over there. Make sure we didn't like miss anything here. Any sort of like Easter eggs or clues or something. Hey, the flowers are growing. Let's go ahead and nap. Mm. Now, I don't remember 
what I was supposed to do here now. Definitely go this way. Oh, creepiness. Oh, and that's it. Whoa, easy. I can't remember what to do right now. Gotta go backwards? I think this is what I did last time and it was incorrect. I want to see what's in that, that door way back there. Oh, I can't even do that. No. Okay, let's continue to explore here. There's nothing in, the, in this... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, I was consumed by darkness. It's cool. <laughs> well, crap. Man, I wish my memory was better. What am I supposed to do here? I think... I know I have to get to the gym... But how? How do I get to the gym? I think I missed the light switch here. That's the problem. Aha! There we go. This should make a huge difference. Now I'll be able to travel this way. And I'll be able to go in here and get to the gym, correct? Correct. And then we will be one step closer to where we left off. Let's go and have a nap again. This place needs a little bit, a little bit of TLC. The group, not tender loving care. The group TLC. Lisa, Left Eye, Lopez, and Game. Mm. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right, here we go. We should be able to get around now. Go this way, and now we should have a light on this in this hallway, which would allow us to cross. Yes, right here. So now we can go this way. And into the gym. Gotta knock down these doors though. Look how he slowly goes down the steps. Yeah. Alright. We are back in here and this gym door should be open. There should be a sprint button or at least a, a hurry up button. There isn't. Unless they added one and I don't know what it is. Here's the gym. Let's go play some basketball. This gym looks amazing, by the way. Like, look at the floors and stuff. Very, very pretty game. Okay, so we've got to turn on... Actually, I don't think we do that first. First, we turn on all these. Started with the one by the door, let's just remember. Would a mental institution have a gym? Is this a school? Could it be a school? No, it's got apartments. It's gotta be a mental institution, right? Like there's little there's little rooms and then there's a like a recreation gym room here. That's mmm I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, so that's open. Did I touch that twice? I think we're good. Let's open this. And this one. There's only one. Yeah, okay. And we have one left. We should open this door too. Oh, this door is locked. Okay. There's a little mattress over there. That's where we're going to sleep. Let's turn this on. And I think... Now we turn this on? Aha! So water is leaking out of these things now, and it's gonna water these plants. Actually... Yeah, there they are. Okay, I'm like, whoa, where are the plants? I knew I remembered seeing them. I don't remember what's in through this room, though. Is it just a hallway? Looks like light shines through there. And there's a door here. Ok. 
Okay, there's a way. So those doors are going to be locked. And I think this is the way we need to go. The way that I just went. Dang it, man. Hi. Finally. Yeah, I know. You're sleepy, dude. We're going to take a nap soon. Let's go through. I'm gonna go to bed now. Oh, the tree. That's right. I forgot the tree. The tree is beautiful. What does this represent, though? What does this mean? What does it all mean? This is a gorgeous tree. Again, I'll say it again. The artwork in this game. Fantastic. I know, buddy. I know. Don't worry. We're going to go ahead and take a sleepy time. Can we bust down that door in our sleep? <sighs> We're going to try. Got to go through here, but we're going to try to bust down this door. No. Nothing. Okay. Let's go through here. Oh. Did we... Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. I guess this is the door to go through and not the other one. Interesting. I really want to know what's behind this door. It could just be... Hmm. It's definitely closed. I'm trying to peek in there. Right, let's go into the next room. And then, then uh, yeah, there's this one. Right, that door probably leads back to the gym from the room we're about to go in. That's probably what happens there. And this... Huh. Oh, okay. All right, so it's all connected now. Now this door is open. Okay, right. Got it. I don't remember this part. But this is good. So let's go into this new room. And this is where we left off last time. I just like the music. Hmm. They all have the same numbers on them? What does that mean? I don't remember seeing that last time either. Okay, let's move into the piano room. We check that, I think. Any light switches here? There's a light there. Don't see any switches. Oh. Interesting. Let's grab this paper. It's music notes. Can we use it on this thing? Aha! Uh -huh. 